everyone, I'm Fiona Lumbers and I am the illustrator of the Luna Love series, Luna Loves Library Day and Luna Loves Art. And coming up next year, there'll be some more books in the Luna Love series, including Luna Loves World Book Day. So I'm here today on Moon Lane TV, wearing my Christmas jumper to do a festive draw along with you. And I'm going to show you how to make some decorations to go on your tree and around your house, inspired by Luna Loves Art. So I hope you enjoy. Hello, welcome to my Luna Loves Art festive draw along. So today we are going to make some simple decorations to either go on your Christmas tree or around your house or in the window, wherever you want to hang them. And they all start by drawing a circle. So what you'll need to do is find something round to draw around. So I've got this little pot here where you could use some tape or what else have I got? Uh, I've got a block of paint, maybe you could draw around that. I've also got this quite snazzy circular template thing here as well, so I might use that too. Um, so to start with, let's draw a circle. So it doesn't have to be completely neat. If you go a little bit wobbly, that's fine. And what we're going to do is draw the circle and the first one we're going to make is a Christmas Robin. So to start with, we need to start about here and we're going to draw a curved line to make our Robin's red breast. So we're going to go round like so, all the way round. And that's our Robin's red breast. And next, I think we'll give our Robin a lovely beak. So just above where we did the line here, we're going to draw a little triangle like that. There's our Robin's beak. And then it needs to be able to see, so draw an eye. There we go. Then we'll head over to this side of the circle and just in about around the centre here, we're just going to put a mark and go one line like so, and another one like that, and that's our Robin's wing. And then finally, we'll give our Robin a tail. So one line, up, down, and then back up again. There's our tail and a couple of feet. So to do the feet, we'll draw two legs, one, two, and then go one, two, three, one, two, three. So there's our nice, simple Robin. I think to make him look a little bit more festive, we should give him a little hat as well. So on the top of his head, we'll draw another triangle. So one line and then another one and join them up and then a little bobble on top, there we go. So that's our first simple shape we're going to draw. Um, we'll head up to here now. Uh, what else shall I draw around? I think we'll go with this this time. Now another one we can make that's very similar to the robin, but is a different type of bird, would be a penguin. So as we did with the robin, we're going to draw a curved line like so. And then exactly the same as the robin, we're going to do a little beak and an eye, like that. We'll give our penguin a smaller flapper there, there we go. And then for the feet, two triangles, so one, two, there we go. And that's a really simple penguin shape. And we'll give our penguin a crown this time, I think. Okay. So they're really similar and very easy to make, but two different birds. So obviously this would be red, this would be black. Okay, let's head over to this little gap here, I think now, and I am going to show you now how to draw a Christmas seal. So we'll draw around our circle again, round we go, like that. Now this time, we're going to start about here and we're going to draw a line that goes like this. One like that and then starting at the bottom of the circle, another one to join it up. So it's kind of like a curved triangle. Then on the end of our triangle, we'll do a tail. So one loop, two loops. And that's our seal's body, like so. Then we'll give our seal a face. So two eyes, one, two, at the top there, like that. 
And then we're going to give our seal a big nose, so a big oval shape like this. There we go. You can colour that in if you want, like that. At the bottom, we're then going to go one, two, like that. And then we'll give our seal some whiskers. So next to the nose, we'll go one, two, three, and over the other side, one, two, three. And then he needs a couple of flippers. So down this side, at the bottom of the circle, go around like this, and there's one flipper. And then if you head over to the other side of the body, where our line came out of the circle, we'll draw another one there, and our seal can be waving to us. There we go, hello. Oh, he needs a party hat as well. I think a nice triangle for our seal. So a nice triangle there and a bubble on top. So there's so many different creatures you can draw. Just starting off with a circle, you can do dogs, cats, anything really. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You could even do a Christmas monster. So I think I might quickly do one of those here. So I'm going to draw around this circle like so. Around we go. Now then, for our monster, our friendly Christmas monster, we'll give him a couple of eyes. So I think two circles like that, and then a dot in the middle. And then underneath the two eyes, we'll do a big smile like that. And maybe give our monster a couple of little teeth. So one, two, and there's his face. Um, and coming to the bottom of the circle, we'll draw a line with a little foot on the end and then back up. And then next to that, another one, line, foot, back up. And maybe a couple of spiky hands. So we'll draw a line and then we go like this with some triangles, spike, spike, spike. Maybe over this side, he could be waving. So one, two, three, four, and then back round. So there's our monster's body shape. And yeah, he needs a hat as well. There we go, so triangle like that, and maybe a couple of ears. So next to his mouth, we'll go loop, loop, and there's our friendly Christmas. He could be a monster or a gremlin or a little elf, whatever you want him to be. So the fun of this is you can draw circles and you can really make any creatures that you want. And then once you've drawn out your creatures, what you can then do if I come over here to what I've made earlier you can cut them out you can paint them like this so there's a painted robin and here's a little penguin I made earlier like that so they're just painted in and here's our seal down there or what else you can do is find some scraps of colored paper they don't have to be the same color as the robin would be in real life but I did have some brown paper so I made a little robin I cut out some paper, there we go. And I also made another seal. And what else have we got? We've got a penguin, another one. I found some googly eyes, so he's got a googly eye. And then what else have we got? A couple of Christmas monsters, here we go. So I just found some old wrapping paper and I cut out a circle and I followed the shapes that we drew. And then I just stuck some eyes on and here's a little blobby thing and what you can do once you've made these is either with a pair of scissors carefully or with a hole punch punch a little hole in the top put a bit of string or ribbon through the hole and then you can hang them from the tree or from a window or anywhere really off the end of your bed wherever you think they look nice and you could see how many different creatures you can come up with Actually, over here, what I've got is, let me just show you, if I bring this in here, these shapes here, we could make a robin from. So I've got my circular body, and then I found my glue. I've got a red piece here, so that can be his chest. So I just put a bit of glue on there, like that. Stick that on the front. There we go. Uh, what else? We've got a wing, so we'll put some glue on there, like that. And I think probably about there. Now, where's our robin's beak? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. We've got an orange triangle. So, a little bit of glue on there. Stick that on there, like so. And a little hat. Pop that there. 
and a pom pom. Pop that on top. Oh, but you can't see, so we'll get a pencil and give our robin an eye. There we go. And that's how quick and easy they are to make. And then we could just hang him from the tree as well with his friend. There we go. And another one. We've got lots of robins. So penguins, seals, robins, monsters. And there's Luna, because Luna loves art. So if you make any of these creations, um, perhaps you could post them online with the hashtag Luna loves art. And then I'll be able to see them, which would be amazing. So I hope you've enjoyed our little draw along, our little festive draw along. And I hope you enjoy making lots of different creatures and see which creatures you can come up with. You could make any animals at all. You could make a lion, you could make a tiger, you could make a reindeer, whatever. See, see where your imagination takes you. And have a Merry Christmas. Bye for now.